fancy boxes for the cupcakes. Is everything okay? Uh, I think so. Excellent. If you need to stop, just pull the red lever, yes? Red lever to stop. Got it. Be right back. Olive, you missed one. Oops, can you get that, Squidgy? Gotcha! <laughs> Cupcake emergency! Huh? <laughs> can you stop the machine, Justin? On it! <laughs> Here comes some more. Can you reach the lever, Justin? Whoa! I can almost reach it. You can do it, Justin. Too many cupcakes! Wait a sec. Yes! Is something wrong? We couldn't keep up with the machine. How are we going to finish in time? Can you help us, Pierre? Sorry, Miss Ami. I can bake, but I am a horrible decorator. It isn't that hard, Pierre. Watch. We start with the icing first. Next is the whipped cream. And finally, sprinkles! Well, that is one good-looking cupcake. It was easy, too. All I had to do was the icing. And all I had to do was the whipped cream. And I got to do the sprinkles. Wait a minute. That's it. That's how we'll finish decorating all these cupcakes. Huh? huh? This is a really big job. But we can finish it if everyone does their own smaller jobs. Good idea. Mm -hmm. You can start with the icing, Justin. OK. And you can be in charge of the whipped cream. Got it. Oh, oh, and I'll sprinkle the sprinkles. And I will take care of the boxes. I'm really good at that, yes. Let's get decorating! <laughs> Parfait! That is the last cupcake. Bonjour, my little darlings. I am here to make cupcakes. Ah, oh, my little cream puff. Here they are. Voila. Oh, they are absolutely fantastic and merveilleux. Merci, Pierre. Mwah. Oh, oh, mademoiselle. You. <coughs> Please, thank my friends. We all work together. Oh, thank you, everyone. You're welcome. And here is one last special cupcake. I made one for you, mon petit chou. <gasps> you are the best cupcake makers in all of France. Hooray! This shortcut is great. Oh, oh no! Successful shortcut. Well, it was faster, but now I only have one mooncake left. Oh, no! The festival's gonna start soon. We'd better hurry. Time for another shortcut. Instead of going all the way around the swamp, why don't we go across it? We can jump across those rocks. Well, we do have to hurry, so... Uh, okay, let's do it. Shortcut! No problemos. Huh? Whoa. Prop 
Moonken oils? Olive! They smell your moon cake! But I've only got one left. We have to get out of the swamp. Quick! Give me your hand! Well? That was close. Now let's get your last moon cake to the festival. Hey, look, there's Lily! The crocodiles smell Lily's giant moon cake. We've got to warn her. Lily, look out for the crocodile! Huh? Oh, hi, Justin. Oh, no! Uh-oh. We have to do something, Justin. Hang on, Lily. Come on! Yikes, they're coming to get us! <laughs> one right here. <laughs> okay, Lily. Here's our chance. Let's stick to the path and go around the swamp. Thanks, Dustin. That was a close one. But now we have no more of your mooncakes for the festival, Olive. I know. I'm sorry. Maybe faster isn't always better. It's okay, Justin. I'm just glad we're all safe. Can we still go to the moon festival? We have no more mooncakes. But I do. If you guys help me carry my mooncake, we might just make it to the festival in time. Yeah! Okay, Lily, yeah. Sure. To the moon festival! Mm. Your Majesty, may I present to you the best mooncake ever, made by our friend Lily. Oh, it is the biggest mooncake I ever seen. Mm, and the most delicious. However, it's just not fancy enough. I'm afraid Lily can't win. I know. Fancy and delicious. I hereby declare that both Lily and Olive are the new royal bakers. <laughs> now, let the moon festival begin! <laughs> delicious! And who are you? I'm Kung Fu Master Justin. Hiya! Hmm. Hmm. And you? The little yellow thing. I'm Junior Kung Fu Master Squidgy. <laughs> he taught me everything I know. Hmm. Excellent. You're just what I need. I hereby pronounce you Guardians of the Royal Duck. We won't let you down, sir. Um, Justin? You're not really Kung Fu Masters, are you? Not yet, but I practice every week. Hmm, the barbarians are hungry, right? Very. They've eaten five ducks this week. So if we fill up their tummies, they won't be hungry anymore. Huh? My mom always says if I eat ice cream, I won't have room for dinner. <gasps> Did somebody say ice cream? Chocolate, vanilla, fudge. I don't know which one to eat first. Uh... Not so fast, Squidgy. That ice cream's for the barbarians. And here they come. Ice cream! Get your free ice cream! Ice cream? We love ice cream! Eat as much as you want. <laughs> Mm, that was good. Now for dessert, Peking Duck! But you just had dessert! <gasps> they took my duck again! Ooh, they're just so rude! <laughs> what are you doing now, Olive? I'm making dumplings. I roll them out like this, and then I fill them with yummy stuff. Ha! They're really strong and rubbery, Olive. I know. 
My dumplings are the rubberiest in all of China. Hmm. Just how big can you make those dumplings, Olive? As big as I want. Why? Do you want to try filling up the barbarians' tummies again? No. I've got a better idea. What we need is a strong gate. And nothing stronger than your dumplings, Olive. for a celebration! <gasps> mm. Extra rubbery, just the way I like them. <gasps> and duck, too! <laughs> Thanks, Olive. Yes, thank you, Olive. Everyone, eat! Hold it steady, Squidge. Okay. Uh, um, oh. Help! Uh, 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 <gasps> My meatballs! Oh, no! Uh, what are we going to do now? That was the only food she likes. <sighs> Don't worry, Olive. We'll help you cook the best birthday dinner ever. Right, Squidgy? Right! We've got spaghetti. Hmm. I think Olive needs some cheering up. I think you're right. Hey, I got an idea. Hey, Olive! Look at my chef's hat! Your hat! Come on, I have an idea! The world's first spaghetti and broccoli balls! <gasps> They're kind of... Uh, green. Huh? Wow, they do smell good! But will the princess like them? You'll soon find out. She's here. Oh, it smells delicious. I'll bet these will be the best spaghetti and meatballs ever. <coughs> Since it's your birthday, we made extra special meatballs. Extra special, but they're a green. Uh, that's because they're, um, they're made of broccoli. Oh, no, no, per favore. I hear broccoli is worse than stinky socks. Broccoli's not so bad. It's actually... Delicious! Wow! These are great! <laughs> Yummy. Oh, delicious! None like stinky socks at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe I'll try just a teeny tiny little bite. Delicioso! 
I was actually getting really tired of spaghetti and meatballs. But I was afraid to try new things. From now on, I'm coming here every birthday to try something new. Hooray for Olive! What's that? <laughs> Maybe it's Bruiser. It looks like a pet in a cage. I hope Bruiser isn't a scary bat. Well, whatever he is, he's probably hungry. That's what I'm afraid of. Aww. Hi, Bruiser. Oh, he's so cute. Bruiser's just a little squeaky hamster. Are you hungry, Bruiser? Yeah. How about a nice Romanian cabbage? Uh -huh. Wow, these animals really like their food. Yeah. Hey, he's waving at me. Hi, Bruiser. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, he's not waving at you, Justin. He's waving at a bat. A bat? I don't see a bat. It's on your head. <laughs> ah! Justin, bats don't eat people. Shoo, bat, shoo! Don't eat my friend! Ah! Come on, we gotta get out of here! There's gotta be another secret passage! But guys... One of these books must be the switch! Oh, I'm pretty sure all of these were alphabetized. Pretty fun. I don't feel so good. Where are we now, Olive? Hmm. We must be in the basement. B -b -b basement You are now in the basement. I want you to feed... Fluffy? 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 Fluffy. And his food's in the cupboard. It must be a cute little kitten. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Huh? This doesn't look like cat food. Do Transylvanian cats eat strawberries? Only if they're out of blueberries. <laughs> Kidding. Oh. <laughs> Here you go, Justin. Strawberries are Fluffy's favorite food. Please let him eat as much as he wants. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I've got some big, juicy strawberries for you. <laughs> Oh, that must be Fluffy now. Ah! It's the bat! It's chasing me! Run, Justin! Oh, Justin, it's just a silly... Ah! It's getting closer, Justin! Do something! Ah! Justin, if you adjust, it's gonna get me! It's gonna get me! Ah! What is that sound? Oh, no. That bat's eating Fluffy's food. <gasps> Poor Fluffy. She'll be hungry. Hey, that bat's actually kind of cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, and she's really fluffy. Wait a minute. What if that bat is Fluffy? Maybe you're right, Justin. Is that you, Fluffy? Here you go. <laughs> that is Fluffy. Sorry for being scared of you, Fluffy. Now I feel kind of silly for being scared of bats. <laughs> Good scary laugh, Fluffy. We have our skyscraper finished in no time. Right. Justin, does the tower look funny to you? It does look a little tilty, Olive. <gasps> I don't get it. We made the ground 
all flat. And we have all the right equipment. And these are all the right pieces. This isn't going according to plan. Um, yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to start over again. <gasps> uh, Justin, I'm getting hungry. Me too, Squidgy. I guess it's time for our... Lunch break! So, what's for lunch? We're making sandwiches. <gasps> Are those pickles? I love making sandwiches. Me too. Me three! Mine will be the biggest sandwich ever. Mine will be the crunchiest sandwich ever. Oh, I love pickles. Huh? This is gonna be so yummy. There. Done. Huh? Whoa. Oh! Now that's a sandwich. Thanks. How did you make it so tall? Easy. I started with the biggest thing, and then I added the medium-sized pieces, like the meat and cheese, and then I put the smallest thing on top, like the pickle. That is the perfect place to put the pickle. Wait, Squidgy, that, that's it. That's how we're going to build it. We'll build our tower like a sandwich. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we have enough pickles. <laughs> That's not what Justin means, Squidgy. I mean we should put the big pieces on the bottom, then the medium pieces in the middle, then the little ones go on top. Now that's a plan. Is everybody ready to build the Tower of Justin? Ready. Big pieces first. Got it! <laughs> are stacked in place. Great job! And now, the medium pieces. For the middle! Going up. Up, up, up! Now let's finish up the middle. Yeah! Bottom, medium in the middle, small on top, and one more thing. Ta da! Yay! Yay! The Tower of Justice! For the moon. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Hey, why six, is that guy counting backwards? Five, That's your countdown, Squidgy. Fasten your seatbelt and get ready for blast. One. Blast off! Bye bye, Earth. Huh. There sure are a lot of buttons and thingamajigs. Can I press one, Olive? Not yet, Justin. Don't touch anything until I tell you. Especially that big red button. Oh. Okay, Olive. How do we find the astronaut, Olive? Major Chuck is near the moon. You should see his rocket quite soon. What happened? He lost all power and can't get back to Earth. Oh, poor Major Chuck. Don't worry, Squidgy. We'll save him. And don't forget, do not touch the big red button. Okay, Olive. We won't touch anything unless you tell us. Especially the big red button. What do you think it does, Squidgy? It glows. <laughs> I know it glows. I mean, when you press it. Oh, no. Mission control, what's happening? Asteroid approaching. <gasps> Asteroid? Who's that? Not who, Squidgy. Why? A big space rock is heading right for you. Asteroid! Ah! It's humongous! Honk the horn! I want you to press the purple button, please. The purple button! Hey! 
we get to press a button. Did you hear that, Justin? The purple button. The purple button. Where's the purple button? This purple button? Yes, Squishy. That's it. Press it. Press it. Everything's fine. I'm just kind of hungry. Me too. Where's the fridge on this thing? Let's stop for snacks. Engine's off. Ah, uh, okay. But which button do I press? Press the orange button, Justin. Check. Engines are off. Okay, Olive. Now, how do we get our snacks? Press the yellow button, Justin. Ah, right here. <gasps> Carrots! Oh! And juice! Awesome! Wow! They're floating! In space, everything floats. Squidgy, I can float! <laughs> I can float too! You always float, Squidgy. Huh? Oh, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Water with all them trees and little islands? This is a bayou. Aye! Uncle Anton! Hey, hey! I'd like you to meet my good friends, Justin and Squidgy. Hi! Bonjour, Justin and Squidgy. Y'all must be here for the Fay Dodo. What's a Fay Dodo? Why, a Fay Dodo is a Louisiana dance party. And all my friends are coming over for some of my world famous gumbo stew. Mmm, gumbo delicious! Ah, ah, ah! That's not ready yet. Not till the sun goes down. That's when the party really starts. Wow! A real alligator! Yep. That's my good friend Jumbo, and he sure loves my gumbo. He can smell it cooking from clear across the bayou. He sure can. And I can't hardly wait until the sun goes down, and I can try some of that gumbo at the Fay Dodo. <laughs> wait till you see them fireflies show up to light up the night. Oh, pack my crawdaddy cakes. I was so busy making my gumbo, I forgot to go to Firefly Island and invite the Fireflies. Maybe we could go to Firefly Island for you, Uncle Anton. Why, sure. I'd appreciate that very much. Why don't y'all take my boat? Can we? Woohoo! Oh, fiddlesticks. I forgot my Firefly basket. I'll be right back. Now the bayou has lots of twists and turns. It's real easy to get yourself lost. Don't worry, Uncle Anton. I'll get us there. Just the same, maybe I'll send Jumbo along to keep you safe. <laughs> you never know. Oh, did you hear that, Jumbo? We're going for a ride. First, you go way down the bayou. And when it starts to go this way or that, look for the rock with a green old mossy face. <laughs> that old mossy face always makes me laugh. I don't know why, it just does. Green mossy face. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Hi, Squidgy. When you hear the singing froggies, you're almost there. Froggies singing. Right. Now, on your way back, you won't be seeing that mossy rock. On account it's the only mossy on one side. Mostly because the rain only comes from that side of the mossy rock. You understand? Um, rainy moss. Oh, now hold on, Jumbo. The boat's over there. You gots to pay attention real close now. 
You gotta look for the white flower tree. Oh, that's so much better. I didn't bring my swimsuit. <laughs> Did you get that, Justin? Huh? Oh, yeah. Flower tree. I love flowers. Got it. I'm ready. Did Uncle Anton give you directions, Justin? Yep. I know this old bio like the back of my hand. Y'all go fetch me those fireflies, and we'll have ourselves the best fair do in all of Louisiana. Aye! Because it's time for fun and games. <gasps> yeah! We love fun and games! <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Hey. Is that pin the tail on the donkey? I love that game. In Arabia, we don't use donkeys. This is pin the tail on the camel! <laughs> it sounds like fun. Can I go first? Sure. Here you go. You'll need this as well. <laughs> See if you can pin the tail in the right place. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! Yay! Hooray, Hooray for the Sultan! What's next? You can't have a birthday without... Birthday cake! <gasps> And cookies, too? And candies? Of course. It wouldn't be a birthday party without special treats. Oh, 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 oh. oh it's so good. <laughs> Olive. This has been one awesome birthday. And my tummy thinks so, too. <laughs> but we should all get an early night. After all, tomorrow's a big day. Okay. Good night, Olive. Good night. And today, and every day. Remember your royal command? Oh, yeah! Awesome! Wake up, Squidgy! Wake up! <laughs> huh? 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 Follow that monkey! Ooh! Oh, that cake is making my tummy wobble. <laughs> Come on, Squidgy! It's party time! <laughs> Wait a minute. Where are all my toys from yesterday? Yeah, we wanted to play with them. You won't have time. Not with all these. Well, I guess you can never have too many presents. A scooter? This is just what I wanted. Ha <laughs> ha! Time for fun and games! But I really want to play with this! You can! Right after the birthday games and the cake and the presents and then more birthday games and then there's more games. Huh? Mm. We are private investigators. We have some questions about a missing kitten, a kitten named Humphrey. Humphrey is missing? I had no idea! So, you say you're a milkman, huh? Yes, indeed. I deliver milk to people's houses. Then how do you explain this empty bottle of milk? Uh, I like to feed cats along my milk route. See? I see. The story checks out. You know, I did stop to give Humphrey and Betsy milk near Mildred's apartment earlier. Did you see anyone else there? As a matter of fact, I did. A fellow with dark eyebrows, 
a round nose, and a mustache. Like this? Yes, that's the ticket. That's a genio from a genio's pizzeria. Aha, he must have taken Humphrey to a genio's pizzeria. Thanks for your help, Stan. Oh, no! To a genio's pizzeria, please. Oh, I, I guess we could have walked. Hello, a genio. We're private investigators, Justin, Olive, and... Enough of the small talk. It's time to spill the beans. We're looking for a missing kitten. We think he might be here. Hey, I'm up to my neck in sauce and dough here. I don't have room for a little kitty. All right, but how do we know this is your pizza shop? Yeah, his story checks out. Uh, that pizza box looks familiar, though. Yeah, I'm sure we've seen it before. It's the same pizza box we saw in Mildred's apartment. Got that right. I delivered a pizza there myself, but I didn't see a kid in there. I'm real sorry, miss. We've been looking everywhere. Oh, Humphrey? Is that you? This isn't looking good for you, Eugenio. You said you didn't know anything about a missing kitten. Oh, me? Ah, oh, I've never heard that meow before. Not once, not ever. Wow! Humphrey! I'm ever so happy I found you. <coughs> you. Humphrey. <laughs> <laughs> Who could have guessed it was a little kitty eating all my anchovies? <coughs> What's that, Humphrey? No anchovies? That's right, no anchovies. That was Mildred's order for the pizza. Indeed, anchovies are positively disgusting. Ugh. So that's why Humphrey is here. He wanted anchovies. Wow. He must have climbed in through the back window. And look at his paws. Rainbow paws! There. Humphrey must have walked through Mildred's paint set. So that means... It wasn't Betsy who took Humphrey. And it wasn't Milkman Stan. And it wasn't a genio either. Nobody took Humphrey. He just ran off on his own. Genio, I'm sorry I assumed you took Humphrey. I should have looked at all the clues first. Hey, forget about it, Justin. No big whoop, huh? Thank you all for finding Humphrey. Ah! You are the best investigators in all of New York City. Oh. Thanks, Mildred. Thanks, Humphrey. You kids want to solve a real mystery, though. Hey! How about the mystery of who's going to eat all this pizza I made, huh? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Huh? Hey, what I say? Oh, so it's the best pizza in town. <laughs>